Hey guys, Pedguin here, and I've just been playing Starbound, and I came across this massive apex sort of laboratory, and I was just wandering around, I was thinking this is actually really cool, and then it turned out to be absolutely massive. So, I'm just going to show you what are the types of things that can actually spawn in your world in Starbound. So, as you can see, it looks absolutely crazy. Um, you can actually look in the, in the chests and stuff, I got loads of pixel pixels which are like the currency you can sit down on the chairs and such it's actually really really cool so we're just going to take a look at the whole thing there's so much goodies and i was looting a lot of stuff from here um there's a problem with the stairs at the moment if you if you like jump down it you just fall if you keep holding down you jump like you fall straight through them all so you can actually hurt yourself quite a lot like you see how much health i lost i was full a second ago all right so this place is actually very very dangerous <laughs> and as you can see here I think this is some sort of medical um, chair or something um, if you press E on it it will actually start to heal you which is actually really interesting um, it's very it, it's much like the bed system except you're butt naked because um, <laughs> you can actually heal yourself on a bed but this does it at a much more rapid um, pace so what I might do is mine this out and take it to my base which is near the center of the world um, you can interact with a bunch of different stuff, but um, I can't interact with that for some reason, even though it was glowing. Alright, so down here, it gets a, even more interesting. Is a bunch of laser surges. So I think what you're going to have to do is, like, jump around like it's a platform, you see? And when, once you get to the bottom, you'll get, like, loads of goodies. But one thing I actually noticed is, these don't actually hurt you yet. Even though there's like laser, it clearly looks like it's going to hurt you if you touch it, but they don't hurt you. Because this clearly looks like it's la laid out to be like a uh, a platform, right? Like they're, they're set up in the same similar way. And like if you fall, you'll have to get hurt or something. I mean, it's like a custom map in Terraria. Just imagine like that. So I'm going to pretend it is and just jump along like this. And this is all randomly gen generated and it's absolutely awesome. See, see down here, this is some poison, and if you do go in that, it does hurt you a lot, and you get poison for quite some time as well. So keep your eye out for that, that actually does hurt you, unlike the electricity. I, I broke in up here because I saw the do not enter sign, in and I thought I could go in this door, but you cannot, unfortunately. There was actually glass going all the way down here, so it's kind of interesting, like, maybe experiments were taken out here. It gives a lot to, the, like, the story, and if you've read any of the Apex lore, it's actually really interesting. Alright, let's keep going. Loads of doors and everything. Alright, I died here a moment ago, so whatever we're going to see from this point on um, is whatever. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I've not seen anything from this point onwards. So hopefully there's some goodies at the end. Maybe a chest. Maybe something or other. But just look, look how it's laid out. It's actually really, really thoughtful. Alright. Let's go. I'm hoping for some goodies. I really wish they would. I'm, I'm sure these were gonna. These are gonna hurt you eventually, right? That would make sense. Do not enter another one. This can't be randomly generated. I, I, I swear, it's just so good. How can this possibly randomly generated? So very interesting. Okay, which way? Let's go down. These, these randomly generated creatures as well are absolutely adorable. Even though they are quite feisty. Alright, let's go up here. There's just so much. Oh my god, it goes on forever. Alright. See, this is this would be great. But they don't hurt you, so there's no challenge. This would be a great platformer. Oh wow. What is over there? Is that slime? What kind of material is that? Let's grab some. Slime block? Wow, I wonder what I can do with that. Very interesting. Never seen that before. Alright, let's go through here. Hiya! If for those of you wondering, I'm gonna be doing a let's play soon as well. Um, it's just that I'm I'm kind of expl oh god! I'm kind of exploring the world as we go. When you get poisoned you take uh, damage over time, it lasts quite a while. It doesn't specify how long, but it it's a it's a little bit a while. <gasps> we got to the end! Da -da -da -da. What do we get? Energy Dash Blueprint! That's awesome! Unlocks Energy Dash Crafting Schematic. Oh yeah! Alright, I'm, I'm assuming that's some sort of like ability or... I, I'm not so sure at all actually. Um, wow. Let's take the chest as well. 
Wow, that is great. It's like a little raid dungeon. But unfortunately, there was no apexes to try and stop me. I'm sure they'll add that in the future. And also, these um, electric surge fences don't seem to do anything either. But that's actually really awesome. I really, really wish that uh fix this up. Like, just, just uh, a few... Beta's beta, like a few patches on the uh, the fences and, and stuff. Maybe some apex running around trying to shoot you or something would be really interesting. Wow. Absolutely amazing stuff. Very, like, this is the first, like, building I've came across. So I'm at, it's, like, literally blown my mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick preview. Um, and, yeah, and there'll be more Starbound videos in the future. See you guys later.